Uh, greetings to all the viewers that are watching us at home. My name is um, Shela Joni and I'm sitting here with my partner, Akanani Ndeta, and we will be conducting an interview with one of the teachers at Avon for Life, Mr. Makadza, who is an HOD of the Science Department and a teacher of Geography in the school. Um, sir, for the first question, I would like to ask you, why do you think it is important that we celebrate World Wildlife Day? Thank you, Sheila and Akanani. Thank you for, for the opportunity that you gave me. Uh, the reason why we celebrate World Life and then we participate in it is actually in line with what we are teaching here. We are taking everything that we are teaching here into practice. So by us participating in the conservation of our wildlife, we are actually fulfilling a mandate that we have in this world. That is of conservation of wildlife. Okay, so concerning wildlife day, and you say you say, said that it is in line with what we teach at our school. How do you think that the students of the school can help assist in the agenda of the World Wildlife Day? Okay, so looking into this whole issue of the Wildlife Day, you can say Advanced for Life learners are already participating in doing something, but there is always room for more. Uh, we are conserving the ecosystem. By so doing, we are indirectly helping a lot of species that survive. By not literally simple things like picking up our papers, recycling, we help species. When you talk of species, we talk of be it plants, animals, they can survive. But in this, for this year, the theme was mainly focusing on the wildlife, which was concerning mainly the restoring of ecosystem. So we even participated on a, a day when we were cleaning at the beach, because we saw that there, were a lot of, there was a lot of litter. So we went there with a group of our grade 10 uh, students, and then they cleaned up the the ecosystem. By so doing, we are helping the wildlife. Yes, sir. Um, how do you think that the school itself, not the students, can help motivate these students of advanced life in contributing to World War Life Day? Okay, there is always a room for improvement on top of what you are doing. So I believe one thing that you can do as a school is mainly to conscientize almost each and every classroom. Must also make sure that we participate in conserving the wildlife. It mustn't be just for geography or for our science classes, but we must conscientize every student in every lesson, every class. So maybe say it's a, co a, a collaboration between the teachers, all teachers and all students. So that is the starting point. We can conscientize each other concerning the importance of conserving wildlife. Um, Mr. Makadza, I've got two more questions for you. And um, the two more questions, which is question four, is how can we better conserve or protect wildlife in our daily basis? Now, Shela um, has kindly stated that how can we as the school, but now I'm just taking the question and making sure that it is a socially um, responsibility. Okay, you realize that uh, we have to transfer the knowledge that we give here at school. So as a learner, when you go back home, you belong to your society, you belong to your community, and then within your community you realize that there are already wildlife in existence. So there is an ecosystem that deserves our protection. So you can start from a small scale, be it at home, if you have a pet, make sure that you are taking care of a pet that you have, and make sure that the environment around you, there are a lot of wildlife that survive because of that. There is always a good example at our school here. Yeah? We have monkeys, so we live in harmony with monkeys. Yes, sir. We don't throw stones at them. As simple as that. When you see a stray dog, make sure that you don't chase it away. You can argue either for the SPCA. As simple as that. We are believing in baby steps. We don't need to be coming up with big strategies. We start small and then from there I believe we can reach our objective. Um, so lastly but not least, is the cause or the goal possible to achieve individually, um, socially, as well as, um, as well as in our school environment? Okay, uh, one thing that we advocate as a school, not only as a school, even throughout the world, is collaboration or teamwork. We encourage teamwork, so I believe one can only do such little that. But just imagine if we all contribute towards the conservation of wildlife, or their ecosystems we can do a lot instead of one individual so i believe in the collaboration of both 
stakeholders, learners, students, teachers, non-teaching staff, all of us, community, parents, uh, teacher, uh, teachers, NGOs, churches, everyone must be involved. All right, thank you, Mr. Magadza, with the help of my classmate. Um, for an extensive um, statement, I hope that as the society, or rather as um, schoolmates, are able to to, di to digest um, the information that we have received and look wildlife in a better perspective than just animals. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.